At the height of apartheid, he became the first black professor of African languages at the university and was also its first black head of the Department of African Languages. He transformed the choral sphere while his opera, Princess Magogo, was the first by a black South African. Emeritus Professor Mzidigazi Kumalo was one of South Africa's most celebrated and prolific composers and arrangers. He died at the age of 89 on Tuesday. And to help us pay tribute to the leading composer and director of choral music to emerge from South Africa, we are now joined via Zoom by world-renowned composer, lecturer, director and conductor Mukale Kwapeng. Mr. Kwapeng, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, sir, and good morning to the viewers. Now take us back to when you first met Professor Mziligazo Kumalo. What was happening at the time? Well, I was studying. I was studying music at the University of uh, the Witwatersrand. And uh, one of my BA subjects, you know, uh, all music students and I presume other, you know, uh, students from other departments, we had to have one BA student. Uh, so, um, uh, South, I, I chose South Soto because, you know, we always wanted an easier, you know, uh, uh, you know option yes. when it came to debate subjects. So I, I chose South Soto. Uh, and one of the components that I had to deal with was, you know, uh, linguistics. And uh, Professor Kumal was the linguistics uh, le you know, lecturer. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, he, was, he was my lecturer. Yeah, uh, so that's that's how the you know, the relationship started. But I also knew that he was a, a conductor and, and and composer. So our relationship went beyond you know, the classroom. In the evenings, uh, I would actually go and accompany uh, his choir on, on 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 the piano. So we had a you know a, a very interesting relationship. During the day, he was my lecturer. In the evenings, we were colleagues. You know where we you know, worked together with his choir. Now, do share some of the stories that he told you when you traveled with him to the later and renamed uh, National Choir Festival. Uh, the, the funniest of them all was, uh, you know, he, he, yeah, which was quite hilarious. Mm. He, 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 he once received a call from home. Uh, somebody called and he was talk, talking to Zital and said, Hey, man, can I put Dr. Kumalo Prat? So one, if you, if you know, uh, uh, his daughter, uh, Sisbu, she was, was a medical doctor. So the response from uh, Professor Kumal was, was that, do you want the medical doctor or the professor? Because he also had a you know, doctorate. So he was also Dr. Kumal. <laughs> so this gentleman said, <laughs> 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 So uh, you know, Dr. Professor Kumalo looked quite strict and he had an intimidating uh, you know, presence and voice. But when you got closer to him, he was very hilarious. He was mm. fun to, and, and, and he oozed just wisdom. He was an African sage. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it really is a huge loss, not only for the family, but uh, for the country as well. Uh, and what, in absolutely. your opinion, uh, made him such a prolific and a brilliant composer? Look, the um, look. I, I can only say that it was a God-given talent, yes. and he also acknowledged that. Because if you look at his 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 you know a, a compositional output, he not only wrote secular music, he also arranged a lot of 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 of, of you know a, a, a religious you know a, a, you know choruses. Mm -hmm. uh, he mm -hmm. took the simple songs like uh, Aganamanda. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, quite a number of them, and 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 actually uh, uh, gave them a lift. His his ar arrangements uh, uh, raised the profile of ordinary African choruses that we sing in churches. He gave them a a a a a, 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 a superior artistic you know, flavor. And um, the, then the other thing is his compositional language. I think he was the first you know African composer to really and convincingly and intelligently infuse African elements in, 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 in his choral you know, language. Um, I think the biggest advantage was that he, he was a, a, a linguist, so he understood the Zulu, uh, the dynamics and, and, and the mechanics of, of the Zulu language. Sure. So his melodic lines were also a reflection of, you know, they were in line with, with, with the Zulu language. 
And I still have to see a, a, a South African composer who, who would actually achieve this. Uh, for some of us, I would have to, to go and study Tswana language mm, uh, mm. For, for me to, to, to really infuse the two together. Yeah. So I think that was his biggest... Uh, and speaking uh, of languages, Mr. Koping, and speaking of languages, let's discuss uh, his passion for African languages and preserving African traditional music. Uh, look, uh, for, for, for starters, uh, he, the fact that he was the head of African languages exposed him to several African languages. Two, his wife was a Musoto. Uh, he, he, professor spoke to you the know, perfect Soto. Uh, and he was surrounded by, by you know, people like uh, Mwepudi, you know, the, you know, the, the poet, uh, the, the, the writer Mwepudi. Um, uh, Professor Marke. So he was surrounded by, by, by various linguists. So he, 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 you know, he, he, he actually absorbed and, and understood several African languages. So it did not come as a surprise when he started. He actually, he, you know, Princess Magogo was way later in, in his compositional life. Uh, but when he started with... Uh, uh, that's, that's when he, he, he actually infused all those linguistic elements in, in his musical language. Mm. And uh, so difficult for, 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 for choirs then in the 1980s uh, because the notation system, the, 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 the tonic solfa notation system was not enough to capture the musical language that he wanted to express. Sure. And he had to write an essay to, to explain how certain musical uh, 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 concepts should be carried through. So you, it was not just what you saw on the music score. You had to read uh, the notes on how to execute certain things. Mm, so mm, mm. Uh, the score was just not enough. So if you look at the music score, you're not, heavy, you're not going to get the whole of Mzilegazi Kuma. And what do you think is his biggest contribution to the South African choral and opera music landscape? I mean, what do you think his, lega his legacy is and how should he be remembered and how would he like to be remembered? Well, for me, as, as, as a composer, the, his biggest uh, a contribution is the, the African, authentic African compositional language. That is a textbook on its own. Mm. A pre, you know, African uh, a composition student should look at uh, Professor Kumalo's works, study them. Then you will get to understand how to fuse authentic African languages, uh, you know, and you know, in order to uh, how to con uh, uh, combine uh, African language and 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 create an authentic, you know, African musical language. You know, because there's a difference between the two, uh, just composing and, and composing, using an African, you know, a, a, a musical language. It's, it's completely different. You know, it, it's, it, it's a different, you know, concept because in that you can actually see the authenticity of, of, of an Africanness uh, in, 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 in the composition. So that, that is, for me, that is his biggest, you know, a composition and a, a co contribution. And compared with other, other, other composers, this is something quite interesting. Compared to other you know, composers, his output is not vast. He did not write uh, hundreds and hundreds of, 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 of musical works. And I know composers who, who created a lot of uh, short pieces uh, in, in, in great numbers. Uh, Professor Kumalo, if I'm not mistaken, his works must might be less than 50. You know, I could be wrong. Mm. It might mm. be less than 50. But the essence, the depth, the okay. content of his works is the, it's, it's, it's the biggest contribution. Because Mr. Kwapeng, unfortunately, we, we, are, we are out of time. I need to take news. But uh, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and uh, your reflections with us this morning. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.
World-renowned composer, lecturer, director and conductor Mogale Gwabeng helping us pay tribute to Emeritus Professor Mzilgazi Kumado, one of South Africa's most celebrated and prolific composers and arrangers who died at the age of 89 on Tuesday.